<laughs> just a stupid question because I've never done this because this is expensive gear for me. Can I just take off the case, pop off the case, or is it like glued together or? Oh, if you wanted to, if you wanted to peek inside, um, yeah, so, work. Uh, I didn't actually pop this particular one, up, this particular one apart. Um, typically, you always could. That's not the same with the OMG cables. Um, you cannot just pop those apart. So I haven't actually tried to pop this one apart yet. Yeah, but if you look at the OMG cable as well. That thing is magical how well it's put together. I don't know if they took like a real iPhone cable and they ripped it apart and they put new hardware in or what, but it's yeah, they're they're absolutely brilliant. But it's also it's epoxy sealed the inside of it. Yeah. So it protects okay, it protects all the circuits. So you know your cables will always survive, your plug will always survive. Yeah, you can't pull you can't pull that apart. It's epoxy sealed on the inside. Yeah, but it's interesting. I've always wanted to peek into the inside of my um, rubber ducky to see where that button is specifically that you have to hit. Because I don't know why, but I keep putting... I, I'm like a moron. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, absolutely. Yeah, no, absolutely. You can take it apart. I apologize. Yeah, because on this one specifically, so what you do is when you take it apart, you'll put... Uh, they give you a, a little square sticker thing and you take two of those stickers, these little, I think they were circle or little square stickers, and you put it on top of the button. That made the button like two millimeters taller, and that makes it so it's able to be pushed like really easily. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah. it was, oh yes, yeah, so you got that little sticker pad right there on there. There should be like either two small squares or something. Yep. These ones or, no, sorry. It's the... It's like these little round things. You can't really see them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what they are. That's right. They're the little teardrop things or whatever. That's what it was. They were hidden on there. That's correct. Yeah, those little round ones on there. If you take it apart, you put two of those. There should be two of them. You put those two little stickers on the button. For you. And then put the case back together. And that'll make... It It makes it so the button pushing is optional in case you don't want someone to accidentally push it, you know? You yeah, can yeah, set it up, you. or you can take it apart. Yeah, sorry to put you on the spot there, but I just always found these. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Too. Yeah, just yeah. So I, should, I forgot. Know. I forgot about that. Yeah, I set it up the very first day I got it, and I forgot that I did that. Yeah, can you yeah. can you tell me how do if I get this in the mail, what the hell do I do with it? Because if I plug it in, it doesn't work, right? Um. Really? So. It depends on if you're referring to the rubber ducky or like the OMG products. Uh, oh, yeah, so, the rubber ducky. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So for the OMG products, just for the sake of saying, um, they also sell the malicious cable detector. So you can plug cables or like the, a USB or whatever into it. And uh, it, it works by measuring power draw, I believe, if I remember correctly when I talked to them. Uh, so it can detect if it's if the device or cable or whatever else is doing something a little extra um like little for extra. yeah for something like the rubber ducky however um it would just be a matter of running it in an isolated sandbox like that's what i would you know always do um because the rubber ducky i mean the omg cables can be set the same but you know the payloads are set to auto deploy unless you you know set it to do otherwise so you wouldn't want to just plug it in um to test it out that way so yeah it's some sort of sandbox or whatever else yeah indeed yeah if, if you guys don't know at home what you do with this thing is you you put your payload on it then you you well you first make your payload you encode your payload you put it on the device you there's a little button inside you click it the moment you click it it's armed and you click it again and it's just a normal usb stick or you put your payloads on so yeah running it in a sandbox would be a great idea 